Richard Branson's Island, Necker Island. In the British Virgin Islands, immediately to the north of Virgin Gorda, is Necker Island, a 30 hectare, 74 acre island. The island is a piece of the exclusive Virgin Limited Edition collection of assets and is completely owned by Sir Richard Branson, the chairman of the Virgin Group. Up to 40 visitors can stay on the entire island, which doubles as a resort and has additional space for six kids. Necker Island, owned by Richard Branson, is a tropical haven that is known to be associated with opulence and privacy. Necker Island provides everything you're looking for, whether you want a tranquil hideaway or an exciting getaway. It's no surprise that the island has become a favorite vacation spot for the rich and famous given its outstanding facilities and perfect service. Guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any newly uploaded videos. Hem on till the end of the video so you don't miss any part of this interesting video. So, let's move on. Here we head on to the location of this private island. In the easternmost region of the British Virgin Islands, Necker Island is situated at latitude 18.55 north and longitude 64.35 west. It is located roughly 5.9 kilometers north of Virgin Gordon and northeast of Prickly Pear Island and Mosquito Island, which is also owned by Branson and occasionally called Mosquito Island. The British Virgin Islands, BVI, are a series of islands located 1,815 kilometers southeast of Miami, Florida, 184 kilometers directly east of San Juan, Puerto Rico, and roughly 175 kilometers northwest of St. Bart's. The 17th century Dutch fleet captain Jonathan de Necker is honored by the island's name. The Caribbean island of Necker was purchased by Branson for a relatively reasonable $180,000. Considering the island is now valued at over $100 million, you can be sure that your investment was a wise one. Branson is seen as a cheerful, a beat style of a billionaire. Branson's current net worth is $4.9 billion, and the majority of his wealth came from investing in projects and ventures that excited him. He is most known for founding the Virgin Group in 1970, which has now expanded to include more than 400 firms. Virgin Records was Branson's first significant commercial achievement. He later sold the company to EMI for a whopping $960 million. Later, he ventured into other businesses, such as the 1984 founded Virgin Atlantic. In addition to founding Virgin Hotels in 2010, he also launched Virgin Holidays in 1985. He has lately been very active with Virgin Galactic, which is clearly SpaceX and Blue Origin's rival. But there is no doubt that Branson's purchase of Necker Island in 1978 was one of his best investments. It was claimed that he had been considering the island for a long time and that the real estate agent was laughing at his initial $100,000 bid. In addition, since he wasn't yet a billionaire, that was the best offer he could make at the moment. However, a year later, when luck finally established itself to Branson, the owner of the island sold it for $180,000, which is today worth $100 million because he absolutely required the money. However, the government placed a requirement on foreign landowners. They had to build a resort within four years, failing which, the island would be returned to the government. Branson promised to develop a hotel on the island, the island was empty until Branson purchased it. At the age of 28, six years after founding Virgin Group, he bought the island to transform it into a private island getaway. Three years and almost $10 million were required. Architects and designers built a 10-bedroom villa in the Balinese style at the top of a hill above the beach using local stone, Asian antiques, Indian rugs, decorative objects, and textiles. The villa also features bamboo furniture from Bali. The 10 bedrooms each have open walls that provide a 360-degree vista. It took Branson four years from the time of purchase to transform Necker Island towards a lovely resort that is today an attraction for many famous people and celebrities. Branson uses Necker Island as a getaway for him and his family to unwind and get away from the busy metropolis, but it also doubles as an executive conference space where he conducts charity events and board meetings. The resort offers excellent villas, but the attractive great house in the middle, which has 10 guest suites, 
is the best feature. A lavish master suite and a roomy common space with handcrafted furniture. They can have a glass of wine on their balcony while admiring the view of the nearby islands as well as the tropical beaches. We are unable to fathom a more wonderful experience than Branson's daily enjoyment of this reality. If you had $60,000 in your bank account, you could stop daydreaming since experiencing a night in paradise would cost that much. A personal chef, a crew of roughly 100 people, two beaches, private pools, tennis courts, stunning views, and a variety of water sports equipment are all included in the cost of lodging. There are only 40 people that can visit the island at one time. That chance will give you a wonderful bed to sleep in as well as a balcony to enjoy the view. It also provides other enjoyable activities. More than 200 kinds of endangered birds have made the island their home thanks to Branson's passion for protecting the environment. Flamingos also regularly visit the area. The tennis court will undoubtedly keep you entertained as you play alongside your friends if your athletic self wants to stay fit and active while you're on the island. You will undoubtedly like zip lining or kite surfing as well. Branson frequently engages in kiteboarding while attending meetings. You can choose the private houses if you value your privacy. Three private homes are available on Necker Island. The design and originality of Balinese homes are captured in these private homes. Each house can accommodate two visitors who can take the opportunity to relax while enjoying a luxurious spa treatment. There is a plunge pool in each of these rooms, and you'll be happy to know that each apartment also provides a kayak if you're an adventurous type who wishes to take a tour of the coast. You must make an airplane landing on Virgin Gordo and Beef Island in order to enter the island. A boat will take you to Necker Island after you land. A fantastic glass of champagne will be waiting for you when you get there as a congratulations toast for traveling to Necker Island. A paradise. You needn't worry, though, since Branson has you covered if you're more of a yacht guy, there is a docking space for visitors who will arrive on yachts. $10 million was Branson's largest investment on the island. However, there have been a number of instances that call for renovation. Similar to how the great house was consumed by flames, how lightning destroyed it, and how 2011 happened. Branson quickly invested $17 million to upgrade it. However, after Hurricane Irma left a terrible mark on the island in 2017, another catastrophe occurred that completely destroyed the resort and not even a single tree can be seen. Branson was not at all discouraged to renovate and improve Necker Island even further. He invested additional millions. It's likely that Branson won't ever give up Necker Island. Necker Island will never lose its attraction. If Branson wants to sell the island, it is going to sell for a very high price. He won't be in a desperate enough situation to sell it for under $180,000. Branson really has a second private island off the coast of Australia, despite the fact that Necker Island may be his prized possession. If you're looking for a moment to rest, Macbeth Island off the Sunshine Coast is a far more economical choice. Just $10,000 will cover two nights. For Necker Island, Branson has great plans. In the long run, he intends to completely switch the island over to environmentally friendly power and make it carbon neutral. Richard Branson is an activist for environmentally friendly technology and preventing climate change. Are you interested in residing on Necker Island? What is your favorite fun activity at Necker Island? Don't forget to comment below. It's time to conclude the video. Thank you for being to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell us what you think about this video below in the comments section. Let's meet again with another interesting video.